All right, what's up? What's up, everyone? Welcome. This is Miles Jr. Welcome to the new episode of the Miles Hype Podcast. As you know, the vision and goal of this podcast is to entertain, educate, and elevate you miles high above your fears, your doubts, and any limitations that you may think exist, always knowing that those limitations only exist in your mind. All right. Hope everyone's doing good. Uh, we are officially into the holiday season. Uh, Christmas is right around the corner. Um, for those of you watching on our visual platforms, you can see we have the set decked out with some Christmas decorations. Shout out to my wife. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but we're in the Christmas spirit, man. You know, the, the holiday season, this holiday season is uh, my favorite, one of my favorites. Um, this has always been special to my family and I. It, it's always a time of you know, spending time with family, friends, uh, getting in those uh, social environments, those social events, and, and really enjoying the festivities of the season. Uh, so that's what we're about to do. You know, we are about 13 days away from uh, Christmas Day and about 21 days away from the new year, right? So officially getting into that holiday season where we're, we're ending one year and getting into a new year um, and i thought it would be good to have a discussion about setting goals for success goal setting is very important um, i have grown into the uh, the practice of uh, using the latter half of every year to prepare myself for the upcoming year um, i think it, it's super important for us to plan uh, plan ourselves and plan things out for the things you want to accomplish, especially moving into a new year. You know, we're about to get uh, finished with the year 2023, jumping into the year 2024. Uh, I myself, I've started planning my 2024 year since October of this year, right? I, I usually start at the beginning of the fourth quarter. Um, and it's because it, 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 it takes, I, I think it takes a lot for us to do, for, for a lot for us to plan uh, the things that we want to accomplish, the, the wins that we want to have, you know, the goals that we want to set and the things we need to put in place in order to achieve everything we want to achieve and we set out to achieve for the upcoming year. Um, and I think that in order for us to make goals and set goals, we have to have a clear vision, right? A, a clear vision for our lives. And, and I, I, always think to, I always think that it's good for us to identify long-term visions, right? The 15, 20, 25 year visions that we want to have. You know, where do I see myself in 25 years? Where do I see myself in, in 15 years? Where do I see myself in 10 years, right? These, these long-term plans. And then you work your way back into short-term plans, right? Where do I see myself in the next five years, in the next three years, or in the next 12 months? Um, I think it's important for us to, to set these, these, uh, these these scopes for our lives right these these vision uh these vision casting that we should do in order for us to visualize what it is we we want to achieve visualize what it is we want to see happen in our lives um and it all comes down to to planning you know i i think the most successful people in the world are people that plan right people that prepare themselves for everything that is about to happen in their lives, whether it's next week, whether it's next month, or whether it's, it's next year. Um, planning is, is very important. And I think we need to set time aside, right? Whether it's a day, whether it's a week, whether it's a month, or if you're like myself, three months, right? Set some time aside so that you can plan, so that you can write your goals down, um, think about your goals, meditate about your goals, and then put a plan in place uh, for those goals to be achieved, right? And and like I say, you work your way from uh, casting that that long term goal, right? Those long term plans, the vision that you have over a twenty five year span, down to a twenty year span, down to a fifteen year span, to a ten, to a five, and then you work your way up to you know that one year, and ultimately you know twenty five years have passed, and hopefully you would have uh, achieved the goals that you set for yourselves over the next 25 years. But in order to get there, you have to start with the next 12 months. And I think it's, it's, it's imperative that we set time aside this year, 
uh, in order for us to plan the next uh, 12 months, the, the, the year of 2024. <clears throat> so for those of you who haven't started as yet, you know, you may have gotten a late start on your planning for next year, or if you've never planned or set goals for yourself uh, going into a new year, it's not too late, right? It, it's, it's you have about 21 days left before the new year starts. So you're able to still <clears throat> take advantage of the time that we have left in this year uh, to plan the next 12 months of our lives. So setting time aside is super important, right? And um, I think when we're, when we're in the process of setting our goals, uh, there are a lot of things, there are a lot of goals that we can set, right? And a, a couple of examples of goals we can set are like dietary goals, right? You may have uh, a, a goal to reach a certain weight within the next 12 months or a goal to live a certain, uh, live a healthier lifestyle over the next several months, right? So you, you could set goals with your diet. You can set some savings goals. You may have a a dollar amount that you want to save and set aside um, for the, for 2024. Uh, you can set a, a strategy in place, put a plan in place for that to happen, right? And that could be one of the goals that you set for yourself uh, in 2024. You could set some accomplish, accomplishments that you want to achieve, whether that's personal accomplishments, professional accomplishments. You know, all of these are goals that you can literally think about, strategize for, plan for, and set for yourselves within the next 12 months. You can also set targets, right? And targets can be, you know, certain things you want to, uh, certain targets you want to hit for the next year, whether it be, um, you know, obtaining a certain degree or a certification in a particular industry, or you want to achieve a, a raise on your job or achieve uh, particular bonuses, right? You can set these targets that, that you want to accomplish in life. Or you can simply set some wins, right? If you're a uh, creative, if you're an athletic person, someone that, that is in sports, um, and you want to achieve particular wins in your life, right? And you don't have to be just creative or athletic, right? You can be uh, on your job, uh, working your own business, uh, and you have some wins that you want to achieve, right? That may be that client that you want to land or that, that particular employee that you would like to, to hire uh, within the next couple of months. You can literally plan that out, right? You can strategize your way into achieving all of the goals that you want to achieve. Um, and it, I just think it's important for us to have a clear understanding of the variety of goals we can set because we can set goals in our personal lives, right? We can set goals in our professional lives and we can set goals in our spiritual lives. And, you know, all of these areas of my life um, encourage me, encourages me to start early when I when I'm planning my, my, my next year, right? And that's why I usually start uh, between the month of October and, and November of the previous year, right? So I, I give myself enough lead time uh, to, to set some time aside to plan <clears throat> and to really accomplish or set out to accomplish the goals that I, that I have for myself um, over the next 12 months. Now, you know, I, I've already visualized and, and planned out, you know, the next 25 years of my life, you know, now that I'm married <clears throat> and I have a family now that, that is involved and that I have to take care of, you know, they, they are now, have, they've now been incorporated into my planning, right? Into my goal setting, into my vision um, for my life. So they've now become a part of the process of me planning out, not just my next 12 months, but, you know, the next five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, right? And I think it's important that we continue to visualize these 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 areas of our lives, and these places that we want to go, the things that we want to achieve, um, because it's it's one thing to see it, right, and it's one thing to talk about it. But when you start really doing the work, right, and and setting yourself up for success, it comes with with proper planning and proper preparation, and that usually comes with uh, being able to set uh, real uh, set great goals for yourself, right? So. These are just some, some options, right? There, there are a lot of ways that we can set goals for success. Uh, these are, you know, five fundamental ways that I, things that I use to uh, set goals up for myself. Now, these aren't the only things that I use, but like I said, these are the five fundamental things that I use. These are things that I consistently think about. I constantly go, go over in my head to ensure that I am, uh, setting myself up for success throughout the process of goal setting, right? 
So I want to leave with you these five, my five recommendations. Um, like I said, there's a whole lot more. Some of these may apply to you, some may not. Um, so I'm just offering this information uh, for you to take advantage of them and hopefully uh, they can be helpful to you throughout the next 21 days in planning your, uh, in setting your goals for 2024, right? And the first one, quite simply, is you must be sure to set realistic and attainable goals. I know I, I, I can't say how important this is, right? Because sometimes, like, you know, let's use the example of, of dieting, right? And, and setting a goal in our mind to lose a certain amount of weight or to reach a certain physique that we want to reach. <clears throat> it's, it's sometimes it could be uh, far fetched for us to. You know, if we weigh 300 pounds, I say, you know, I want to next year, I want to lose 150 pounds. Or I want to get down to 150 pounds. You know, it's possible. It's not something that can't be done. But based on, you know, our, our makeup, based on the, the habits that we have, you know, it could be difficult. Right. So I'm, I'm always more inclined to set more attainable goals right so instead of 150 i might say well i'll lose i want to lose 50 pounds within the next uh eight months right and i work my way up to losing those eight those uh 50 pounds and if i achieve it before i reach eight months then i extend that goal and say okay let's take it to 75 pounds um but i think just trying to you know hit it out the park on the first day out, you know, I, I just think it's it's kind of unrealistic, right? So we, we want to be as realistic and and in setting, you know, our attainable goals, right? Making sure that we're uh, setting ourselves up for success and not disappointment. Um, you know, you know, it's it's you know, I think it'll be far fetched for us to say, you know, I want to make ten million dollars next year, right? And when we've never made a hundred thousand dollars, right? I, I think it's fair to say that you know we have to to crawl before we walk, right? I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always of the, the idea that, you know, slow and steady wins the race, right? It's all about consistency. It's all about sticking to it, right? It's all about uh, setting a goal and the goal is so attainable that you're able to continue at it, right? It's not one of the goals you're going to look at and be like, you know, three months in to be like, man, this goal is, is too far fetched, right? I can't, I can't do this. I, I don't have the, the mentality or the mindset to continue on this path. And that could possibly be because you didn't set a realistic goal from the beginning. So always try to be realistic in setting uh, attainable goals for yourself. That's the first one. The second one is to ask yourself why and then to answer that why, right? Why do I want to set this particular goal for myself? And then make an answer for yourself. And, and I think um, it's important to say here that the reason for goal setting should never be self-serving, right? So going back to the diet, the, 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 the diet goal setting example, um, you're setting this goal to, for, for diet because if the only reason you're doing it is because, you know, I want to look good and I want to increase my confidence and, you know, do all these things to, to please and pleasure myself, uh, that's not the right way to go about it, right? But let's say you just want to live a healthier lifestyle, right? You want to be able to live longer so that you can uh, continue to build your family or provide for your family or to be around for a long time to help uh, your businesses, help your friends and, and others around you uh, to achieve a certain level of success. Or if you want to be an example for someone else, right? To be an encouragement to them because you can say, man, I set this goal and I accomplished it and I want to, I want to share with you in ways that you can do the same, right? So ask yourself why. What's the why? 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 Why do I want to uh, accomplish these things, right? Uh, if you if you set a goal to say you want to make ten million ten million dollars next year, why do you want to make ten million dollars? Is it just because you want to, uh, make, you know, make all this money for yourself and and you know just kind of be selfish with it and, and buy yourself all of these tangible things that that don't have any meaning, right? Don't have any purpose to it. Uh, or do you want to make this money so that you're able to provide for your family, your friends, and uh, create uh, a business or an industry for your, your neighborhood or within your region or within your country? You know, why are you setting these goals? Why are you doing these things? I, and I think the why not only allows us to, to uh, create purpose for the goal setting, 
but allows us to create reasoning, right? And, and allows us to create discipline within ourselves because it's not just for me. I'm not doing this just for me, right? It's not self-serving. Um, this is a goal I'm setting for myself because I want to better myself, yes, but in addition to that, that's going to better those around me. Um, so asking yourself why and answering that why is also important. Thirdly, and this may be the most important thing, is you need to strategize. You have to make a plan of action. Um, I can't tell you how, how, much, how many people have failed in goal setting because they haven't strategized, because they haven't put a plan in place for that goal setting, right? Um, and it's always good to, to set these strategies in place to achieve incremental wins, right? Because if you have a, a, a three-year, I mean, if you have a one-year goal, then you can set uh, these small wins in increments of three months, right? If you have a five-year goal, you can set your wins in increments of one year, right? And if you have a 10-year goal, you could set your increments in, uh, in, in about two to three years. So there are always incremental wins that we can put in place to strategize um, and put a plan of action uh, in place so that we can be intentional, right? Be smart about the things that we're doing. Uh, but not only that, but all to, also to encourage ourselves to keep going. Um, so in the dietary uh, example that I, that I use, right? You have a goal that you want to lose 50 pounds. Okay, what's the strategy you, that you're going to use, right? You may want to get with a trainer. You may want to get with a, a nutritionist or a dietitian to help you with uh, putting a plan in place, right? You may have to cut the calories that you're eating and only eat a, a certain amount of calories a day. Or you may want to start meal prepping, right? You want to prepare each meal that you're going to eat each day, ensuring that you don't overeat, right? In this in this uh, weight loss journey that you're about to go on. Uh, if you want to earn a certain amount of money within a year, right? Let's say you want to earn $100,000. You're going to have to say, you know, the goal over the next 12 months is to earn 100000 so and that means in 12 months, I have to earn about $8,300 uh, $8, a month. And within each day, you have to earn $277 or just, just about $277. So what plan are you going to place to say, okay, I need to uh, figure out a strategy, put a plan in, in place so that I can make you know, 200 to $270 a day in order to achieve the larger goal, right? I've, I've always... Um, but not always. I've recently came across this principle of doing the math. You know, doing the math is such a, a simple but strong principle that we can put in place, especially when we're goal setting. You know, for me, when I in my during my goal setting phase um, or my plan setting out plans for the upcoming year, I have several spreadsheets that I use. Right. And I set mark uh, targets and, and marks for my personal life, for my professional life and I work backwards from the targets, right? So if I put a, a number or a figure in one of the uh, in one of the blank blank spots, I, I work backwards to either you know here's what I have to do each month, here's what I have to do each quarter, here's what I have to do uh, it within six months, right, to achieve this goal that I've set. And doing the math just makes things to to seem more achievable, right? And that's where the incremental wins come from, because looking at you know, trying to make 100,000 could be overwhelming, right? It could be something that you just continue to look at this large number and be like, man, that, I don't know if that's possible, right? Just based on where I'm at right now. But if you break it down into smaller increments and you start achieving those smaller increments and, and setting and hitting those targets, right? And hitting those marks and winning at the, at the small uh, levels of the goal setting that you're doing, you know, one day you're going to look up and you're going to be at that $100,000 mark that, that you set. And it's going to, you're not going to even recognize it. It's not going to come, become obvious because you've been winning at so, at so many, at so little things. So I think it's important for us to, you know, put a plan of action in place and do so incrementally, right? And encouraging ourselves not to look at the big picture, but to break that big picture down into smaller wins uh, and to keep us encouraged, to keep us enthused and to keep us happy about the, the achievements that we're, that we're making. The fourth thing, the fourth recommendation is to trust the process. Now, I want to say this. When we set goals for our lives, and I know a lot of us, you know, I'm a, I'm a, gym, I'm a gym head, right? I, I love going to the gym. It's, it's, it's a, a place of solace to me, a place of release. 
you know, it's where I get go to clear my mind and, and everything, right? And at the beginning of every year, right? January is is usually always the busiest month in the gym, right? Because that's when people come in with this uh, with this New Year's resolution, right? <laughs> Everyone has a New Year's resolution, saying that they want to you know work out and exercise a whole lot more. So gym memberships skyrocket within the first month of the year. And then you hit February and March and you know, those numbers start to decrease. And by June and July, like you have the the standard, the, the normal amount of individuals that's always in the gym, right? So I'm always seeing new faces in the gym at the top of each year. And by the mid-year to, you know, start of the fourth quarter, you see the regular folks that you always see in the gym. And it, it, it it's like clockwork. And usually that's because, you know, people have set these high expectations and sometimes these unattainable goals for themselves and expect to, to achieve them within the first month or within the first couple of weeks or within the first eight weeks, you know, 10 weeks, whatever those, you know, unrealistic things that they, they put in their minds to, uh, to achieve. And, you know, it doesn't, it, it, it's not only with, with exercise and dieting, but it could be with, you know, savings. It could be, be with the accomplishments that you want to achieve, the targets that you've set. You know, it's it's not going to be easy, right? You're going to fail. You're going to miss some of the marks. And it's just normal, right? It's normal practice. And I think trusting the process that you put in place uh, just encourages you to, to remind yourself that, man, even if I don't achieve this goal within the amount of time that I set for myself, it's okay to extend it, right? It's okay to rework this goal. It's okay to rethink what it is I want to do or how I want to do it, right? Maybe the plan of action wasn't realistic enough, so I need to kind of, uh, go back to the drawing board and come up with a new plan of action, right? Because the goal is always going to be the goal, right? You just change the strategies, um, and you should always be reworking the strategies. Um, so trusting the process just involves knowing that it's not going to be easy, right? And it, you may hope that it takes a month or two months or three months, but it, it may actually take 12 months, or it may actually take 18 months. But just trust the process, trust the, the journey that you're on, knowing that being consistent and disciplined is way more important than uh, being fast or being quick or getting to the finish line, uh, being the first to the finish line. Um, I, I, I think within the trusting the process phase of, of you know, successfully achieving our goals is where we lose a lot of people because a lot of people say, man, this is taking too long. Maybe this isn't for me. You know, I, I, maybe I'm not capable of doing or, or achieving these goals that I've set for myself. Um, and I think it's important for us to encourage ourselves to, to, to say, man, yeah, I, I didn't get this part of it. I didn't get that part of it. But I'm going to trust this process, man. I'm going to keep going. And as you incrementally win and as you incrementally achieve the things that you want to achieve, you're going to build your confidence. You're going to build your enthusiasm. And then you're going to be able to, to not only encourage yourself, but encourage those around you. Right? I can't tell you the amount of times um, I've failed on a journey or failed in a goal that I've set for myself and just because just became so discouraged, man. And just was like, man, maybe, you know, maybe I don't maybe this isn't for me. Maybe this isn't something that I'm supposed to achieve. Right. And um, just being able to remind myself of, you know, you've you've been here before. Right. You've been in this process of uh, it being a long process, you getting tired and you needing uh, some encouragement or at least a win. Right. And you just needed to that boost of, of, of adrenaline or energy to keep going. And, you know, it comes from experience. It comes from trial and error. It comes from persons around you. Right. Creating these accountability circles that uh, you can have people encouraging you to, to keep going. But trusting the process is, is the most important thing, right? Because you don't want to hit this new year strong and hard and you go in strong for the first 31 days and on day 32, <laughs> you, 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 your, your plan goes out the door, right? And, you, and you're doing something entirely new. Um, so trust the process, okay? Uh, it's not going to be easy. You will fail. Trust me, you're going to fail. Failure is inevitable. But like I said before in, in a previous pod, you know, failure is an event, not a characteristic, right? So you can never be a failure. So just understand that even though you fail, uh, you learn from it and you move on. And that brings us to the last point, which kind of piggybacks off trusting the process. It's review and revise. 
you know, sometimes, like I say, we're not going to make the marks that we set, not going to hit the targets. So always setting time to review and revise not only just our goals, but the strategies and the plan of actions that we have in place. Uh, it allows us to continue to uh, better ourselves on, on the inside and externally on the outside, right? Uh, you know, I tend to take a look at my goals every three months, the strategies that I put in place every three months. And I, I use that time to assess, you know, the, the plan that I put in place and where I'm at in achieving or, or accomplishing those plans. And if I need to rework them, if I need to revise them, I do so, right? I, sometimes we get into this mindset that, you know, we have to set these goals and these are the goals that we need to achieve or, or we put these strategies in place and, you know, this is a strategy that I need, that I need to follow. You know, sometimes strategies don't work, right? Life happens, right? Things change and we need to adjust. And, you know, I think it's important for us to review the strategies, review the goals. Um, and if the strategies need to change, we revise them, right? We re rework them uh, because it's important for us to do that in order to set ourselves up for success in achieving our goals. All right. So, again, just want to run, round, run down them a little quickly once again. So setting goals for success. And yet again, these are just five things that I recommend that I use consistently in order to achieve or hopefully achieve the goals that I've set for myself. The first is to set realistic and attainable goals. The second is to ask yourself why and then answer that why, ensuring that you're not self-serving in your goal setting. Uh, the third is to have a strategy, you know, put a plan of action in place, uh, put a blueprint in place in order for you to work your way towards achieving your goals. The fourth thing is to trust the process. And then finally, to review and revise. Okay, don't be afraid to change the strategy, um, but always keep the vision the same. And, and that's how you are able to successfully achieve the goals that you set for yourself. Okay, well, I trust this has been some good information for you. Um, you know, I've, I've already started on this process for myself. I'm coming down to the final stages of that process. Uh, and I just wanted to encourage you today that it's not too late. You still have 21 days left before the end of this year in order for you to set the goals uh, that you want to accomplish within the next year. Um, and hopefully this information helps you and puts you on the right path to doing that successfully. All right. So that brings us to my favorite part of the pod, you know, is where I personally get to give you a milestone uh, for you to now take the information you've received and apply it to your life. Right. And the milestone for the, to today's podcast is if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. All right. Simple as that. And that's something that we've heard and been hearing all our lives. Hopefully we've been hearing them all our lives. I've been hearing it all my life, uh, but it's a principle that I use. Right. I try to plan out everything that I want to do, everything in my life that I've accomplished or that I want to accomplish. I set a plan in, I put a plan in place for me to do that because I know that if I fail to plan, I plan to fail. So I want to encourage you to start planning now for the new year. Um, and I hope that you have a successful one. All right. So that brings us to the end of this podcast, man. This was good. Um, I, I just want to wish everyone a successful planning period for the remainder of 2023. And I wish you nothing but success in achieving all of your goals for 2024. All right. As always, the vision and goal of this podcast is to entertain, educate and elevate you miles high above your fears, your doubts and any limitations that you may think exist always knowing that those limitations only exist in your mind. All right. So until next time, you guys stay blessed.